lot of uh, German people don't know what it's like to be, you know, colored and to live in a society where you constantly get looked at as an outsider. Today we are here at the Black Lives Matter protest fighting against racism in Berlin, Germany. It's really crazy that we're actually standing here in 2020 still fighting racism. I think there's a lot of ignorance towards racism, especially in schools. A lot of the kids that I I'm in class with they look at racism as an issue that is in the past. In Germany, we're taught about the Second World War every year in school. But one thing that people don't address is that the fact that the Nazis taught a lot of German people that black people are lesser, that we are genetically worse off than white people, that we're dumber, that we're weaker. We're not taught enough about how these theories have affected our society right now. Racism is taught, it can be untaught too. But it needs to start education system. Und außerdem würde ich mir auch sehr wünschen, dass äh, die Medien mehr zur Rechenschaft gezogen werden würden. Also hier in Deutschland haben wir eine Zeitung, meistgelesene Zeitung im ganzen Land, die 90% aus Hetze besteht und 10% aus Trash. Und ähm, das sind halt die Meinungsmacher. When you think racism doesn't exist, you are part of the problem. My mother always told me that I have to see strong as a black woman. But sometimes I feel rejected because of my color. Things that have happened in the US this year. People have just had enough. The people are coming together all over the world to show their affection against injustice. And um, I'm happy to be one of those people here today. And all the people who have felt silenced over the years really feel like they have a voice right now. I have been here today to um the Schwarz community to unterstützen, a Zeichen to setzen. Es ist auch leichter, wo gerade so eine Bewegung irgendwie angefangen wird, weil ich selber das auch eher so verdränge oder irgendwie in die Ecke schiebe. Aber jetzt gerade, wo das so publik gemacht wird, auch, ist es voll wichtig, dass wir dann auch mal anfangen, das Mut aufzumachen, weil es genau die richtige Zeit dafür ist. Ja, als jemand, der in der Fashionindustrie arbeitet, frage ich das Feld, das ich repräsentiere. Ich frage das Feld, das ich arbeite. Because they, I feel that they don't have my back or the, black, the backs of the black community in general. Especially in Germany where people often say that racism really isn't such a big thing. It is. If you're a hair and makeup artist, you need to know how to learn. And every freaking skin tone, every hairstyle, everyone. And nobody knows what it feels like as a black person to sit in a chair and they don't know, they do not know how to deal with you. Yeah. We're it's 2020, like yeah. get your shit together. I think a big issue is also that the most people learn in Germany about black people is what they see in TV and music. So they have this persona of black people being this typical black stereotype of either being a rapper or a basketball player. And they can understand that we can also be German. We can also be very educated academic people. And that we're not just some stereotype that raps about money and that just plays basketball. We're more than that. What advice would you give to non-black people on how to like, be active in the movement and uh, how to help fight racism? Yeah, I think it's important to not only talk with people that already share your opinion and um, try to raise awareness, try to change their minds, try to make them understand that actually we're all the same. Yeah. I think if you're able to educate yourself about racism, about your own ignorance, if you understand that you're ignorant yourself, then you can kind of connect with the black community and you will be an ally instead of a savior. Spätestens nach dieser Woche kann ich dazu eigentlich nur noch sagen, dass ähm, man halt einfach anfangen sollte, diese ganzen süßen, pastellfarbenen Instagram-Posts äh, nicht nur irgendwie zu reposten, sondern einfach auch anfängt, die wirklich zu verinnerlichen und die auch zu leben. Every single white person is responsible for helping, educating others. Like, I think, you know, there's so many times where I've heard comments, racial comments that I haven't been okay with and I've shut up. It's also the duty of white people to speak up against that. If they hear it, say something. Look at what's really going on. Watch all those fucked up videos on the internet. See what's really happening. Open your eyes. Don't say you can't handle it, you know? Like, how do you think that we feel? Follow black leaders, listen to black leaders, and give space for black people to further themselves. So.